Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift haul, so if that's something you want to watch, then please stick around. Alright, if you are new to my channel, welcome! My name is Catherine. I am a beauty and reselling enthusiast, and today's video is going to be more on that reselling side, as you can see. But don't worry, I included some beauty. I, uh, did my makeup today with a lot of my shot my stash items which I can link up in the corner for you my eyeshadow palette like I my eyeshadows I think two different palettes if I'm not mistaken wanted to you know test them out and see if I liked them um so yeah let's dive into this thrift haul so this is an accumulation of a lot of different stuff you don't even see the other half of it that is in front of me which would be shoes and accessories um where did we shop from? Goodwill, the Goodwill Boutique, garage sales, uh, pop-up shops, and other, <laughs> like looking around, and other um, just like local thrift stores in my community. Um, so let's just get started. And basically, if you are new to reselling, basically I, um, that's a lot of basically's, I purchase things at a lower cost and I resell them at a higher cost and that is how I make some of my fun money because I'm a part-time reseller. So if you're new to it and if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, comment down below. I'd love to answer it for you. I've been reselling for 10-ish years now, so I'd love to answer it. All right, so let's see what I picked up. First one being this really pretty just like ribbed camel mock neck. Um, what is the material? I don't think it's cashmere, but it definitely feels very soft. Oh, it's nylon. Okay. But it feels very soft. And this is from the brand Ann Taylor. Um, not typically a brand I pick up a lot, but this was super cute. It was like on trend for fall and it was soft and it was in great condition. And Ann Taylor can actually, it retails for a lot of money. Resale kind of all over the place, but still picked it up. Some room in here. The next item I picked up is this like boucle, is that how you pronounce it? Tweed jacket, very Chanel vibes. Kind of that black with the silver weave in it, really nice texture to it. This is Bagatelle, Bagatelle, right there. It is new with tags. I paid up for this one a little bit when I, but when I um, averaged everything else out, uh, it worked out. I thought it was, yeah, it's new attack. So the Bagatelle collection, it is size, oh, what size are you? It says size P, so I think that's a small. This one I couldn't leave behind. It was so cute, but the size did deter me a little bit. Uh, this is another, as I say, I don't pick up a lot of Ann Taylor as I pick up two pieces. This is Ann Taylor Loft, um, but look how cute this little gingham plaid, little like puff sleeve sweatshirt. It's so cute for the spring, um, but the size is an extra, extra small, which, you know, is a slower sale for me. There are extra, extra small people out there that do need cute clothes, but it's a slower sale. But the style of it, I couldn't pass. <clears throat> the next item is not something, again, not a brand that I normally pick up, but I just thought the style of it was super cute. It's kind of like that fairy skirt, full skirt with the tulle. It's just H&M. So that's what that brand look, their tag looks like. It's a size 12, so that's also a really nice size. Anybody was doing like a um, Carrie Bradshaw type of costume for Halloween. That'd be really cute. This is another nice like little holiday sweater, the red knit with the silver weave in it. This is Athleta. Um, this is a size extra small. I can't tell if this is, cause usually the newer Athleta will have the, um, the name of the, that's gonna annoy me, the name of the item on the tag so it, it is new but I don't think it's the newest you can see in there that it's a holiday 21 so coming up on two years old but still would be perfect for this holiday as well 
This I picked up, of course, it's Hocus Pocus. We got the Sanderson sisters, little cropped hoodie. I already have this one listed in my Poshmark. Well, all of my closets are all my stores, which I will have linked down below for you. Wanted to make sure that I got this listed right away um, for to kind of capture the holiday season. Um, it says it's an extra, extra, extra large. It definitely does not fit like that. I would say it fits more like an extra large and I'm pretty sure I gave measurements in the listing as well. All right. I think I'm trying to like, <laughs> I have so many pairs of shoes in front of me and I'm trying to like remember, did I pick up shoes at that thrift trip? I don't think I did. So we'll move on to the next one. So the next one was the out, uh, Goodwill Boutique, which is basically, I, I don't know if you have a boutique in your area, but um, it looks more like boutique-esque. It is dressed up more. It just has a different vibe than a regular Goodwill. Um, and sometimes they will send some of their nicer stuff there, or it, basically it's they just charge higher prices, if you will. You can find a lot of the same crap there. Um, but I have had really, really good luck at this place before. I found a multitude of Eileen Fisher pieces, which majority of them have already sold. Um, and stay tuned because I did have a huge multiple find, which probably will be the thumbnail. Um, and I will tell you all about them and how much I got. But I'll start with some of the other pieces that I picked up. So this cute little ruffled dress if I'm not mistaken, this is Abercrombie and Fitch. It is a large, tall, goodness gracious, if that is a tall, I would have swore to you this was a petite. I mean, I'm, a t I'm tall, I'm 5'10", and this would have been very short if it was not tall. Um, but QP is perfect for like spring, summer. I like to, um, I like to list um, items, even if they're out of season. Like obviously if it's like Halloween coming up and I find that Hocus Pocus, I wanna, wanna list it right away. Um, but even if I would have found that in springtime, I still would have listed it in springtime. Um, so I just list all season long because you never know what people are looking for. This was a new to me uh, brand and I'm pretty sure I, pro I probably paid too much for it. But again, when I evened everything out, it worked out well. Um, just really fun details kind of this like metal hook and eye system. You got like this little um, exterior bow. And the brand is even, even vintage. If you can see that right there. And it says vintage twist, classic with a chic. It's an extra small. That is what the tag looks like or the brand label if you can't see that like an e.v so this is really cute um again looks like everything is in chinese so i don't know if it's like a chinese brand or something but it was really cute it felt really nice so we'll see a lot of times if i find brands like that it's a we'll see i don't know all right, this I realized after the fact has a little bit of stain on it, but I will wash them. It's a pair of Madewell denim shorts, kind of a longer denim. You can see on that thigh right there, there's a little stain near the hem. Uh, but these are the Curvy Perfect Vintage Short in a size 28. And Madewell is another brand that you can search their care tags. It's usually the last little tag right here. It will give you a style, num style number um, so you can look it up for more information. And then it also tells you when it was manufactured. Uh, so this was for the spring 21 collection. I wish I could find these in my size. They look perfect, longer, longer length. I'm gonna be 35. So like those short shorts just don't hit the same note anymore <laughs> as they do when you're 35. This was something I probably, uh, this was a new pickup for me. Like I it was out of my comfort zone, but it was kind of fun. So it's just like this floral kind of moo moo uh, sleep dress. It is from the Vermont Country Store in Weston, Vermont. So I don't know if that is like a specific s store there or something, but it's this fun, just kind of sleep dress with really pretty floral 
what's old is new again. Um, it has pockets. I honestly didn't look up any comps on this. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes I just go with my gut. So I went with my gut, my gut on this. We'll, we'll see. I'm kind of beginning a little bit more into like vintage items. Um, it's not something that I go searching for, but if I happen to come across an item that I think looks really fun, I will pick it up. I really don't have any knowledge of it, so I'm learning as I go. Uh, found this really fun kind of like magenta, I don't know if I'd call this magenta, it's more on the purple side, but it's this like um, A-line dress, it's Eileen Fisher, size medium. Again, really nice. This could go really well in the fall too. I was thinking more spring, summer, but seems like a fall color. This one, what was this one? I feel like the brand wasn't really much. I know I've seen this brand before, but I can't remember. Shargano? Shargano? I think I, I remember picking up more on style. Again, kind of more of that like prairie dress type of look, button up kind of fun like western indie looking print um this is a size 10 this is good old kate spade I haven't found kate spade in a really long time um this is a kate spade dress kind of that thicker ponty knit navy and white stripes this is a size two that's what it looks like it has that exposed gold zipper in the back Okay, this next one was one of those very unique pieces that I'm just like, somebody has to have this. Um, and if you are a Harry Potter fan, it might be for you. Um, so hold on, this is what the front looks like. So this is very long, like A-line denim button up dress, tunic, coat, jacket. I don't really know what you would call it, but on the back, we have Expecto Patronum. So we got our Harry Potter on the back with the Griffin, uh, the Griffin door on the back. Super fun. The brand is called Elf Sack. Um, I looked this up. This is uh, a very expensive brand. And they are known for making very unique pieces like this. I don't know if I found this exact one, but it was just really cool. It was really cool. It was a great price. And so I figured I would definitely check it out see how it goes so if you are a Harry Potter fan let me know <laughs> all right this next item was deceivingly expensive um or it's gonna be deceivingly expensive this is Vivian Vivian Tam so that is what the tag looks like um it is this wrap dress and why I say deceiving just like the material doesn't feel super great but it kind of reminds me of like Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress um, so in this fun kind of colorful print all the way around. And if I, if I remember correctly, cause this haul was a long time ago. I want to say these dresses like retail for, for like 450, something ridiculous like that. All right. And then again, another brand I, I pick up if it, the, the print is fun or if there's something unique about it. Um, this is Zara Woman. I think it was new with tags as well, but just this super cute leopard, kind of very retro pinup type of dress with the puff sleeves. I think the sleeves can be worn on or off the shoulders. That pencil skirt with the smocking in the back. Um, this is a size medium. This one was a, something I couldn't read, the brand, so I had to Google Lens it, and eventually I found it, and I still don't think I can, uh, I'll have to look at the tag, interior tag, because I think it had it written out. So there's that, so that's what the brand is. It's an extra small, it's this like kind of unique t knit tunic, and you can tell it's a tunic because it has that venting on the sides, it's like a maxi tunic dress. Where was it? Tea bags. <laughs> tea bags, Los Angeles. That's what it says. Um, so this is actually supposed to be a very expensive brand. 
Um, it's a nylon spandex mix designed by Tea Bags Los Angeles and USA. Um, dry clean only. So I remember looking this up and again, it was very deceivingly expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but I think it retails for a lot and resells for a lot, which is what you want to find. Here we are for the vintage again. This tag is what tells me it's vintage. It just says CNA. Um, this tag as well indicates that it's vintage if I can undo it right there but it's this cute like little corduroy shirt dress um i almost thought it was handmade at first but with that tag it makes me think that it was produced corduroy all around kind of the contrasting red buttons I have these panels so cute so again this is one of those like i'm not so i'm not searching for this but if it happens to be in my path and i think it's cute then i'm gonna get it i can't pass it up so then we have some very classic Bryn Walker, definitely along the lines of um, Eileen Fisher, very lag and looky kind of minimalistic type of um, brand, sustainable materials, things of that nature. So kind of this really cream oversized tunic. We have here this was unif i think that's how you pronounce it extra small a line little dress has these kind of tiered raw hem details i remember looking this up i couldn't tell you how much it was obviously the resale was enough for me to pick it up this was another brand that was kind of interesting that I had to look up. This is B, I think it's B by Bell. Um, this is a size small, kind of that tiered mini dress with the attached tassels with beads on it. I want to say this is kind of in line with maybe a Lily Pulitzer, some, something of that nature, if I'm remembering correctly, but pretty cute. Good old Torrid, especially the soft knits. Love the soft knits. So this is Torrid size one. Um, I'm gonna say it's a tunic, not a dress, because I mean, it could be a dress. I mean, it could be a dress. It's short, she's short, but it could be. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a tunic, but it's a size one, which equates to a one X or a 14, 16 maybe 16, 18, something of that nature. But it has that kind of like grungy type of feel, super duper soft, waist tie, all the fun stuff. All right, wait, no, we're getting to it. I thought this was it, <laughs> but we are getting to it. Uh, another Eileen Fisher top. This one is a size small, kind of this oversized top, long sleeve, the fun box pleats on the back. This is a new to me brand. This is Bobax Creative Lifestyle, size extra, extra large. It is this zip up hoodie. I believe it's men's zip up hoodie. And if I remember correctly, it doesn't need to be washed, um, but it's almost like a streetwear brand. I think Bobax, if you've ever heard of it. I don't know, never heard of it. So I thought I'd try it out. And we got some Lululemon pick up Lululemon tank tops anymore because they just don't do as well um but this was right price a fun color so I picked it up <laughs> the rip tag was ripped out but here is the logo kind of that tonal type of logo um and I might actually keep this myself too I think it I think it might fit I'm not sure all right, so this is the item that I found multiple of, and I didn't really know what I was looking at at first. Um, I just was like looking in the afterwear section and everything was black. <laughs> everything was black. So I kind of like looked at one piece and then like was flipping through. I was like, wait, wait a second. This is a lot of the same thing. And then I actually looked at the tag. I'm like, this is a lot of the same thing, which is a really good thing. 
So what it was is smart wool. Ah, smart wool. So it's smart wool, these quarter zip wool, like base layer, um, base layer tops. They are extra large, so it's a wonderful size. I can't tell if it's men or women's. I don't know, I'll have to do more research on it, but this is the little logo if you ever see that too. These all look to be in excellent condition. And because there were so many of them, I almost wanna say that they were donated. Um, I think the tags were just cut out, the, like the newest tags were cut out. I don't know if that was for um, tax purposes or something, I don't know, I don't really know. But it was weird to see so many size extra large smart wools of the same thing. So. I found one obviously you know I found multiple but comment down below how many do you think I found total take a pause how many do you think I found total and then I'll tell you all right so we found the one on the hanger two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, 11. I found 11 smart wools, all extra large, all in excellent condition. I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure they're all in excellent condition. These things retail for a lot. They resell for a lot. I'm guesstimating probably $45 each. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let me know down below. Were you close? Did you get 11? If you did, thumbs up. If you didn't, you still get a thumbs up. <laughs> so that definitely was one of the best finds. And I, it will make listing a breeze too. It's all the same size. It's all the same style. I'm so excited. Okay. Continue with that haul. Uh, so not only did I find smart wool, but I also found a black little Patagonia base layer top. This is a size large. Again, not clear if it's men's or women's. I'll look it up. Um, it almost looks like a Capeline. Could be part of the Capeline collection. This is a from fall 2013. Wow, okay. This is a long, long time ago, but still in excellent condition. Um, let's see, let's see. Found this aloe yoga little crop sweater. Owl Yoga had no idea, but apparently it stands for air, land, and ocean. Cause you got the little tag right there. So this cropped cute little hoodie. Did I say what size? Size medium. All right, we got a lot of activewear pants. I just like hit the jackpot in activewear um, this go around. So let's get started. We'll start with these first really groovy ones so it's kind of this like silver gold I think they're silver they're, it's kind of hard to tell in the light if it's silver or gold um but these fun metallic compression leggings they are new with tags and they are from the brands heroin sports so that's what the brand name and tag looks like. They're size medium. I wanted to say that these retailed for like, um, like 150 bucks, something ridiculous like that. These are the marble legging in quartz. So that's new with tags, always fun. And then we got a pair of, and this is what I was saying, a newer style of Athleta because it has the uh, the actual name of the style written down below. So this is the Athleta Brooklyn Textured Line Jogger in a size 10. So they have these really nice um, fleece, it's not fleece, but they're lined, so they're warm. Um, jogger pants, more leggings, these really pretty kind of burgundy, light burgundy, uh, pants they're so soft they're beyond yoga that's what the tag looks like they are an extra small so 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 ridiculously soft we got another pair of newer athleta because they have the name of it it's the elevation 7 8 tight they are a large 
I'm gonna say they're a large petite, but the P, sometimes the P just means small. Like I get confused when it's actually on a small because P can also mean small, but I think because it, it's by the large, it means large petite. But that is what the, uh, <laughs> the print looks like. I can see my brain working. And then these are Sweaty Betty's. I don't find this too often. The Sweaty Betty all day, seven eighth length. And this kind of fun blue zebra print. This is still all at the same store. I had two trash bags full of stuff. They had to open up a lane just for me. <laughs> this, this is a pair of joggers. This is Nike Air kind of olive joggers with the uh, contrasting little side panels. This, normally I probably wouldn't have picked up, but they looked so similar to Spanx. Um, this is just White House Black Market, but there are these like really thick, uh, thick knit leggings that very much remind me of Spanx, kind of that faux, faux leather type of look. And then this is, what is this? What is this? It doesn't have the, oh, the blue lemon right down there. So this is like a teal. I know I know the name of this teal because I have a pair of leggings that are this color. I think it's like nocturnal teal or something like that. Then it has the little speckles on the bottom. We got some, well, I thought we had some mesh, but then it has the little um, scallops on the bottom. And let's see what size they are. They're size four. See right there, it has a little style number in there too. So I can just look on Google and figure out the name of them. Uh, see another pair of leggings. This is Free People Movement, which is just the activewear brand for free people. So they're really, again, really thick, soft black leggings with uh, the lacing on the sides. Another lace up legging. This is another aloe uh, piece and you can see the little lacing up on the side. What size are these? Oh no. The, I think it's a size small. Uh, it's it, You can barely see it. I'm pretty sure it's a small. This was a new brand to me. I think I found two pair of these. Um, but this is called Varley. Varley, kind of this fun like tie-dye print. Size small. Let's see. I think this is the other one. Yeah, Varley size small snake print. So makes me think they were donated by the same person. Another pair of Athleta, newer, the Ultimum Stash Pocket Capri, size small. So just kind of that gray, the side pockets. I love these side pockets, they're so nice. So lots of activewear. I think that was the end of the activewear. Then I did find these unique vintage which they're not truly vintage it's just vintage-esque kind of the vintage style um it's a size medium six eight and it's these leggings that have this like cute little skirt panel on the side so adorable if I was smart I probably should get these listed for Halloween so I don't know I just equate Halloween and like rockabilly and pinup and stuff like that around this time so and pinup usually does really well for me it's not something I find all the time, but when I do, it sells pretty quickly. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it's some of a kid. So I will tell you, I found um, a skirt. Maybe I'll put it, I'll put a picture of it right here. Um, it's Vixen by Micheline Pitt. And it was this Ben Cooper design. I think he was the person that designed it, the print um, Halloween skirt. I picked it up at the garage sale, which stuff I'm going to show you for $5, sold it for $60 within 30 minutes. I had already like three or four inquiries about like, will this fit me kind of deal? Um, sold it right away. So again, it was Halloween. It was kind of retro. 70s 
So I don't know if it was all those combined plus the brand. I don't know, but Retro does really well for me. Um, so I would suggest checking it out. And then it wouldn't be a haul without any sort of anthropology. So this is made by anthropology. And when it says uh, by anthropology in the bottom, it's a little bit newer, but it's this fun kind of uh, neon printed blouse. Very cute, size large. All right, so this was a new to me brand. Um, this is Jolie Noir. Jolie Noir. So as I say, Noir is what I'm wearing today. I think it's a um, black women owned brand. Um, and so I just, I, I love black. <laughs> Look what I'm wearing. So <laughs> anything that kind of like says Noir is what I'm wearing or black was what I'm wearing. I just love it. So um, again, new to me brand, really interested to see how well this goes. Okay, then we have this very classic Brooks Brothers fitted sleeveless top. And that is what it looks like. If I just got done filming my reseller recap for September, I'm pretty sure that will go up before this, but um, which I'll link up in the corner for you. But one of my highest selling items was from Brooks Brothers, so I am fond of the brand. All right, so let me. We'll get to shoes in a bit. I have a little bit more clothing and then we'll kind of go back and forth. Uh, all right. So this was from a Goodwill trip. I hung out with my friend for the day. We went to Goodwill. Um, this is just time and true. This is a Walmart brand, um, extra, extra large, but I thought it was super cute for me for fall. Just kind of like a sleeveless sweater dress. It'd be so cute to like put a cardigan over or a blazer over or like a button up shirt underneath. So I picked that up for myself. This is Bob Mackie Wearable Art. That's what it looks like. Um, they have some really fun kind of funky pieces. I don't pick up a lot of it, but I just thought this was really fun and colorful. So I decided to pick that up. Picked up this really beautiful little pencil dress. Fun kind of boho print. This is David Meister, a size 10. This is an older, uh, how do I want to put it? This was a designer, I think, more popular in the mid 2000s. Um, funny story, actually, my senior prom dress I bought from a Buffalo exchange and it was a Dave David Meister dress. So that brand always has a special place in my heart. But I figured I'd pick it up, see how it goes. And then the last clothing piece in this haul was just this Babaton, which is an Aritzia brand, which I believe is like the Canada's version of Revolve, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just this kind of oversized button down top, perfect for spring in my opinion. All right, so let's look at some shoes that I picked up that day too. Let's make some room. All right, I'll probably just show you one of the shoes. Um, not the pairs, <laughs> just one. Um, this is a pair of cabby shoes, kind of leopard, low heel, ankle strap. I actually might keep these for myself. They're size nine. I don't know, with them being a little bit canvas, they might be a little bit tight for me because I'm kind of between a nine and a nine and a half. Um, but really fun little shoes. And why I picked these up is because I actually found this pair of cabbie shoes that I have sold before in a smaller size. These are also a nine. Um, these sold pretty well for me. These are a size nine as well. Cabbie shoes actually do really well. They retail for a lot and they resell for a little bit of money. So if you find them, I, I when I first found these shoes originally, I had no idea that cabbies made shoes. So I picked them up for science and they sold well. So I picked them up again. Have you ever picked up, uh, like you sold something before and then you pick it up again? Have you ever done that before? I don't do it often unless it's something that sold really well for me. So obviously those must have sold well. Um, beautiful little bridal shoe. This is Jewel by Matt Badgley Mishka. Look how cute this is. Oh, 
so pretty and they are new never worn um size six and a half they would, would be beautiful on somebody's wedding day these I was iffy on picking up, but again, if you watch my reseller recap, you will know that cowboy boots were one of my best sellers. Um, so I picked up another pair of cowboy boots because they were super cute. Um, these are Macy Bean boots. I don't know if you can see that. I believe they're kids because they're a size three. They do have like a little zipper pull to get in and out of. These retail for a lot. And I think they resell for a lot too. So um, I definitely paid up for them, um, but they will pay for themselves plus a lot more. So I'm happy about that. Uh, this was a new to me brand. They just looked really interesting. This was called Rolly. And why I was interested in them is because, I mean, the looks of them, but also they said they were made in Australia, which anything that's, I, I always take a second glance at anything that's made in Australia, Spain, um, anywhere but China, basically. Um, sometimes it can be indicative of quality just because a lot of times uh, materials there are more expensive. So um, it can mean that they retail for more, which could mean that they resale for more. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of this like cute little lattice Oxford. So... And this was a first for me. I've never found these before, but these are, well, first of all, they're like cute little leopard clogs, but they are Moby's. Moby's are really expensive brand. I believe they're like sustainable too. Yeah. So that was really fun. All right, back to the clothes. Um, this little section of clothes was from a um, garage sale. It wasn't in my neighborhood, but it was in a neighboring neighborhood. Um, and it was an older neighborhood. So it is designated like 55 and above. I always like to go, you never know. Sometimes the clothing isn't that great just because it's more geared towards the older folk. Um, but I did find some good stuff. So let's dive on into that. The first being, which, wait, I know I got more clothes. They might be under the shoes. I'm pretty sure they're under the shoes. So I guess we'll go back and forth. But the first one was this Tipsy Elves um, button up shirt. I believe this is called like the nighttime fiesta shirt. I know I looked it up online. Um, it's a little bit like um, some wash wear on it. I did do the pair wall wash to kind of brighten up the black a little bit. It did brighten it up some, not like to complete saturated black, but it's still um, still looks really nice. I love picking up these like kind of fun prints like this. I guess we will go to the shoes first. Picked up another pair of boots. These are Tony Llamas. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Tony. Maybe not. Uh, Tony Llamas size nine. I don't know if these are women's or men's. I think they're men's. But again, they're they're definitely worn. I mean, you can take some like leather cleaner and clean them up a little bit. But, you know, some people want their cowboy boots worn. All right. Picked up a new to me brand. This is something I see on Instagram all the time. These are called Kizzix. And the ones that I see or the, are the ones that you don't have to like, um, you can just like step into them. They kind of have like a back where you can step into them. I don't know if this is the same style, uh, but it is the same brand, kind of all black size, uh, seven and a half wide for men, nine wide for women. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't realize they were a wide shoe, but that's okay. Good old Birkenstock. I think this is the Madrid style, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they have a little bit of wear to the the outsole, but definitely not though. I saw a pair of Birkenstocks that uh, I think they were the Giza style, like the black platen leather Giza style. I didn't end up picking them up because they had tons of like chunks taken out of them, but I did sell, I sold two pair of Birkenstocks that like this last month very quickly that were very worn. So maybe I should have picked them up. This is a pair of Sorel little moccasin um, slippers. 
kind of fun. I didn't know that Sorrel made little slippers, but it makes sense. It's a pair of Ugg boots, leather boots, little booties. Again, this was like at the last, one of the last stops, I should say. Like she had all these shoes and I just kind of like all piled, <laughs> piled them up and just like dropped them in front of her. Um, so yeah, she had good shoes. This is a pair of dance goes, fun, cute little cloggy style dance goes that are going to be perfect for summer and spring. All right. One more pair of shoes from the garage sale. Um, I have never heard of this uh, brand before, but it's, I don't, I still can't even read it, but it said it was made in Greece. And they had Vibram soles and they were looked brand new. So I've had good luck with items that have been made in Greece before. So I'm excited about that. So found some cute little Eileen Fisher linen long shorts. So cute. Here, I'm gonna put all this stuff. Ah, oh, this was a good find. Uh, so this, uh, I think the last bit of this was stuff that I found at the same place that I found the Halloween skirt that I told you about. Um, I found vintage Patagonia, extra large, kind of this over, very lightweight windbreaker, overcoat, something. Made in Canada, spring 2003. So this is vintage. Very cool. So we got some vintage Patagonia. Uh, we got this really cool belt. I might try it on to see if it fits me, but it's a size 42. And the brand is somewhere. I know I saw it when I picked it up. Where are you? I thought it was a Tony Llama. Oh yeah, it's re really hard to tell in there. Tony Llama belt. Fit me. The girl got some wide hips. No, it might fit like a nice like waist belt though. Can we? You can't see that. It's a cute waist belt. But I love some Tony Llama and Western belts do really well for me. Well, I shouldn't say they do really well for me because I only have one Western belt. I would say Western style does really well for me. And then the last thing that I picked up from the garage sale, which will go straight to uh, my friend. And it is this Santa coat, Santa blazer, Santa jacket, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is, I don't know, probably something just on Amazon, but, uh, a friend of ours, he MCs races, like, um, uh, running races, whatever <laughs> he does that. And he always likes to dress up. And a lot of times he used to run, uh, races and like costumes and stuff like that. So this would definitely be right up his alley. And it's so funny. We always make a joke that I buy more clothes for him. Uh, like at thrift stores and I do my own husband because he just he loves those fun prints like that so um yeah so I got him for I got that for him <laughs> all right so coming down the bend um I try to I, I tried to um section these off bar for places that I got them so the next section is gonna be um this pop-up sale that they have not in our neighborhood but within like 10 uh, 20 minutes from me um, and it happens during the fall. I actually might consider doing it next month. It happens the second Sundays in like the fall months. I think I might do it just to see. Um, and basically it's just in a parking lot and you just set up booths in a parking lot. Um, so I went there for the first time, picked these up. These are Levi's um, in collaboration with Super Mario. So those were fun. Look how cute they are with the fun little prints on them. You can see it right there. They're the 501, uh, 501 and they are size, they're a teeny tiny little size, 27. So that was fun. 
Uh, I think I picked those up for like $3. Then somebody's booth had some nice hunters. I haven't found hunters in a very long time. I can't tell if these are red or pink or purple or something like that. I do need to clean them up because they have some, some blooming on them, which is natural. Um, it was really funny when I, you know, she had a price on them and I'm a thrifter. So I was like, oh, are you negotiable on prices? And she's like, no, not those because they're, those are over a hundred dollars. And I was like, I know, <laughs> just asking. <laughs> so, um, but still pick these up. They are, what size are they? I don't know. Size. I can't tell right off the bat. I'll have to do some, some deep dive in there, but that was fun. Haven't picked up as they fall. Haven't picked up hunters in a really long time. All right. So last little bit of, Ooh, wait, totally forgot about this. This was at the garage sale. This is a cute little uh, slouchy purse. And this is actually by Fry, which you probably know them best for their boots, like their Western riding boots. Um, so funny story, she had this marked at $15, which I would have gladly have paid. I just was out of cash. And so I asked him like, hey, do you do Venmo or PayPal or anything like that? And they were very like, no, we don't do that. I was like, well, I have $2 in cash. And she's like, I'll take it. So I got this for $2. <laughs> you never know unless you ask. All right. The last little bit was from a local boutique, not local boutique, local thrift store in my area that is not a Goodwill. Um, these are just Levi's, but they're Levi's premium, which usually sell for more. They are the 724 High Rise Street Crop size 29. I did wash these in the pair well because you can kind of see some like wash wear on the seams. That just happens with black pants. Um, I just kind of expect it at this point. And then I picked up some really nice looking J brand jeans. Almost look brand new. They kind of have this fun like little pleat or seam crease, whatever you want to call it. These are kind of tiny. What are they? A size 26. Got some more Walmart for myself. <laughs> Apparently that's, that's all I get. Uh, so time and true Walmart, but this was a super cute, like little top. Perfect for fall. I think it'll fit me. So why not? Got some Torrid again. I think this is the super soft thing. Oops. Um, Kind of this fun, like really pale purple lavender peplum top, size two. Oops, tripping over shoes back here. Size two is a 2X or a 1820, I think. Got some, oh, all this stuff is about to fall. This is a vintage skirt. This is requirements, size eight. I just picked it up because it reminded me of like Chanel. Again, kind of that tweed with the bow. Very, very preppy looking. Oh, I kind of debated if I wanted to pick this up, but I need to, I need to list it if, um, quickly and you'll see why. This is a thorn, thorn and fable. I think it's something sold at Hot Topic. It might be a little bit older, but just kind of this like gothic style skirt, you know, could look well for like a pirate outfit or something like that. So I kind of debated if I should pick that up or not, but obviously it ended up in my cart. Um, so I picked it up. Got a few bras left and we'll be done. So we have this cute little Lululemon bra. If you can see, I think it's definitely older Lululemon when it has that style. Um, here's the logo. I don't know what style this is or what size it is. Let's see if it has cups to look into. Hmm. No cups. Usually the, the size is hidden in the cups. It might be hidden in the band. Sometimes they do that too. I'll have to do some more research. If not, I just measure the, the bust in, uh, or underneath the bust and just go from there. Got some new with tag Spanx. So Spanx little bra. This is the 
just says bralette in a size small. And then the last thing we have, I'm like looking around, making sure that's the last thing that we have. Uh, this is a new to me brand. This is PE Nation. Um, this was an expensive activewear brand. So I thought that orange was kind of fun. Um, this is kind of peeling off right here, but that's okay. I can still get enough information from it. It's a size large kind of safety cone orange is what I like to call it. And doing a quick sweep. I think that's it. <laughs> so that was a long thrift video. So if you made it to the very end, put some thumbs up emojis in the comments or something like that to let me know that you made it to the end. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know which item was your favorite. I know we picked out a lot of items, um, but let me know what was your favorite from the haul. Some of them um, I am working on drafting them and getting them listed as soon as possible. Um, really trying to lessen up my death pile. I honestly think these are the last clothes in my death pile. I still have plenty of shoes that I need uh, to list, but I think these are the last clothes. So that's pretty dang cool. So yeah, <laughs> leave a like on your way out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.